Hello everyone, it's Mama here. Welcome back to another DIY. Today I'm going to be playing with this houndstooth fabric and turning it into a dress. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started. For the bodice, start out with a fitted top or dress and make sure to take into consideration any darts you might want to add. Fold it in half and trace out the front. My darts are going to be 3 inches wide, so all this extra fabric right here is going to make up the darts. Measure the distance between the front darts and take half of that, and then measure out from the center front. Draw in the shape of the dart on both sides of the bodice. Pinch it together, making sure that the sides of the dart match up. When sewing, don't backstitch at the tip. Instead, just leave about 5 inches of thread hanging and then go back and tie a few knots when you're done. Then snip off any remaining thread. The back bodice is basically a really long rectangle. The height should be the same as the side seam on the front bodice. The width would need to be at least two times the measurement of your back. Create a casing at the top by folding the fabric under twice. Make sure the casing is wide enough to hold a quarter inch elastic or whatever size elastic you're planning to use. Take some elastic thread and wind it around the bobbin. While you're doing this, make sure to pull the thread slightly. I'm pulling about maybe 75% of the elasticity. Make sure the bobbin is installed properly and use regular thread on the top. Play around with the settings and do a few test runs to make sure that the settings are right. I'm turning my tension all the way up and using a longer stitch length. Now just run a whole bunch of parallel lines all along the back bodice. Mine are about half an inch apart and I'm using the foot as a guide for the distance between each stitch line. Seam out the back bodice, and you'll see it slowly start to shrink. Take a quarter inch elastic and thread it through the casing at the top. This is going to help the top part of the bodice stay flat. Sew the ends closed. This is the back of the skirt. Measure the widest part of your hips and divide it by two. You can also add a few inches for ease if you would like. The length can be however long you want. The front is going to be exactly the same, but curve out one side of the pattern and you're going to need two pieces. Using an existing skirt or dress, create the darts in the same way that you created the darts on the bodice. Now that the basic shape of the skirt is complete, I'm going to even out the waistline. To do this, I'm taking the measurement between the top and the bottom and making sure that it is even all around the skirt. And then snipping off any extra fabric. So if you recall, my skirt had a little fringe at the bottom. This came with the fabric, so I'm going to create the same fringe on the front of the skirt. To do this, I'm going to sew a straight line about half an inch away from the edge of the fabric. And I'm actually going to sew it twice, just to make sure it's extra secure. Then leave it for now, we'll come back and finish the fringe later. Pair up the front bodice to the front pieces of the skirt, making sure that all of the darts match up. Pin it so that the darts are folded towards the outside. I found it easier to start at the middle and then sew towards the outside. Thank you. 
This is the bottom layer of the skirt, and you can see that the darts are actually folded towards the center. This will reduce bulging at the dart area. To finish the front bodice, I'm going to take care of this frayed edge by securing it with a zigzag stitch and then folding it under once and securing it with a straight stitch. Here is the front almost complete. On the back, simply match up the top to the skirt at the center and sides. Pin the back and front pieces together, matching up the underarm point, waistline, and skirt. This was another one of those cases where I had to start at the waist and sew all the way down to the bottom of the skirt, come back to the waist, and sew up to the underarm. Create the shoulder straps using 1 inch strips, fold it in half and sew. Turn it right side out. You can see here that the shorter strap is more like a tube, so to keep it flat, I'm going to top stitch right next to the edge. You're also going to need two little strips that are about 2 inches long. Insert the little strip through the o-ring and fold it in half, then attach it to the back of the bodice. and attach the long straps to the front of the bodice. Give it a few stitches back and forth and snip off any extra fabric. Take the loose end of the shoulder strap, insert it through the slider, through the o-ring, back through the slider, and secure it in place. You can find a more detailed tutorial of this at the link below. Now we can go back and create the fringe by removing the horizontal threads from the skirt. It was actually a lot easier to use the sharp tip of a seam ripper to separate the thread and then just pull it out from the skirt. As you move along the curve, you'll find that the threads are not going to come off completely comb them out so that they're hanging vertically, and then even out the edge with a scissor. And that's how you make this dress, guys! Thank you so much for watching as always! Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video! Bye!